Welcome to this training on approaches to STG reporting. My name is Caleb Rudow and I'm a research fellow at the Center for Open Data Enterprise working on the SDG National Reporting Initiative. This initiative was launched in March 2018 to facilitate greater information sharing for reporting on the UN Sustainable Development Goals between international, regional, and local communities. Today I will be giving an overview of current approaches to SDG reporting and walking through some examples from different countries and regions. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development includes 17 Sustainable Development Goals, also known as SDGs, supported by 169 targets and 232 indicators. SDG reporting is the act of publishing and disseminating data and statistics on these indicators for key stakeholders, with the intention that they will be used to monitor progress and influence data-driven decision-making. To date, countries have adopted one of three approaches for reporting on the SDGs. Some countries are incorporating an SDG reporting module within an existing national platform. Others have developed entirely new platforms dedicated to providing data on the SDGs, and still others are providing their data to a regionally maintained platform. We are going to give an overview of the characteristics and a demo for each reporting approach. Some countries have chosen to leverage their existing platforms and to add an additional module on their websites to report on the SDGs. These SDG modules are typically added to a country's existing National Statistical Office website or National Open Data Platform. One of the benefits of this approach is that it leverages existing resources and can often be done more quickly than other approaches. It also provides a central location for all data and statistics, statistics from the NSO, as well as on SDG reporting goals. One of the challenges, however, of these kinds of systems is that they may be limited in functionality or have to work in legacy website systems. There are a few examples of countries that have pursued this strategy, and we will look at the Philippines platform for our first demo. So to enter the Philippines SDG reporting module, we will start at the Philippines NSO website, as you can see here. You can see the statistics tab and the range of data that is available from the NSO. And if you scroll over, you can see the link to the SDG data. On the SDG data page, you can see an overview of the SDGs, a menu of options on your right, and if you scroll down, you will see the SDG data. The Philippines reports on the last time the data was updated at the top of the page. Then below, you can see the actual data, which you will probably recognize the same graphic as we move throughout this presentation. To dive into an indicator, you can click on whichever the 17 goals you are interested in. In this case, we'll click on goal three for health data. Looking at the first target, which is reducing maternal mortality, you can see the indicators, the year they were collected, and the agency that collected the data. And if you're interested in other data tools, you can scroll down or indicators. You can scroll down and review other indicators. Now, if we scroll back up and you want to download this data, you can see the download option in PDF form at the top. The metadata can be downloaded in a similar format to the data. If you click on metadata in the menu on the right, it'll take you to a similar screen as before when we're looking at the indicators and goals, but this time, if you click on one, it'll take you to a metadata page. And you can see the download there at the bottom right uh, for the uh, metadata download. Several countries are using centralized national reporting platforms to report on their progress. Again, NRPs can be understood as a means to report and disseminate national statistics, including SDG indicators and descriptive metadata in an accessible way to reach all target users. These are standalone platforms that are separate from the NSO website or other government website. One of the benefits of this approach is that it can make it easier for a country's government to coordinate data across different ministries, departments, and subnational bodies. This approach also allows for more modification of website features and flexibility. 
One of the challenges, however, is that this requires new technical capacity and resources to develop a new site and may take more political capital and other resources to make the move to a new website. There are several examples of countries that have taken this approach. We are going to focus on the United Kingdom's website. So the first thing I want to show you here is that this site is hosted on GitHub, which is an open source uh, platform, as you can see in the address bar. Scrolling down, you'll see familiar graphics from the Philippines. Uh, the 17 different SDG goals are listed. And for consistency, again, we're going to click on good health and well-being. Now here you can see the indicators available that pertain to goal three, as well as their status. We are going to look at one of the indicators that is populated with data, and in particular, the under five uh, mortality rate. Now here at the top, you can see the indicator name. You can see the indicator which can be viewed in either chart or table format below. You can also have the ability to do disaggregation by countries in the UK. As I add different countries, you can see the rates for the indicator vary by country, and you'll see the graph uh, will change on the right. And if I add in a sex disaggregation, we will see a difference as well. If we scroll down, we can see the key for the graph, so we can interpret our findings uh, from what we see above. There are also download options here at the bottom of the page. We can download the chart as uh, CSV, which is just the data there that we have in the graph, or the source, which is all of the data. Now, if we want to find the metadata, we can also look at that below. So first we have the national metadata, as well as the global metadata, which is more of a description of from uh, the UN on the indicator in general. And we also have the sources, which will help us tell us uh, when the data was collected and by who. Another interesting thing to note here is that uh, the GitHub updates are mentioned at the bottom of the page. So there's a lot of transparency here and you can see who updated this page last in terms of the code, um, as well as the data and when. Now, if you want to learn more about the site, uh, you can click through the GitHub uh, link and it'll show you um, more information about the code and who has updated it and uh, why. Several regional bodies have developed platforms allowing countries to provide and display data on the SDGs, and in some cases compare their progress to other countries in the same region. These platforms provide a number of features, such as visualizations, to help users explore the data. The interface of these websites makes it easier to compare progress across countries in a region. There is some cost to move the data over to these platforms, but the overall cost is minimal compared to other options. These platforms can be a good option, but countries are limited by existing resources and functionality of the platforms and don't have the flexibility to modify them according to their needs. There are several examples of these platforms, but for today, we're going to look at the Africa Information Highway. So here you have the Africa Information Highway uh, website, and it was developed by the Africa Development Bank. You will see at the top that it also has multilingual capacity and the site can be seen in English or in French. Now, there are a few options for reporting here. For this example, we're gonna just look for the uh, report by SDGs. So here you'll see again, the same graphic and the basic overview, and we're going to click on health again so that we can, uh, you look at the same goal over different platforms. So here you can see the maternal mortality rate in countries across Africa. And you'll see um, here we have Mozambique, uh, Tanzania. And here on the right, you can also see a graph um, so you can kind of look at the data in a more organized way from uh, least to greatest in terms of mortality rate. 
This overall makes it easier to make country comparisons. You can also download the data in uh, three different formats. So you have PowerPoint, uh, Excel, as well as in uh, PDF. Now, we may be interested in uh, looking at a particular country and not kind of comparing across a region, in which case we can click on report by country. So here, uh, if you click on a uh, country outline here, so we'll get to their data. And for this example, we'll click on Zambia. And this will bring us to a page with the data on the um, in a table format along with the data from Zambia and it's pre-populated by Egypt and uh, South Africa but uh, you can change that if you if you like for different comparisons and to dive in we'll click on the maternal mortality ratio so here you can see the data over time uh, again with the comparisons between uh, the other two countries that are preset there now you can also have the option to export this data to the data explorer which will give you more functionality for uh, looking at the graph in different uh, formats, uh, in different graphs, different kinds of charts, just a lot of different options for uh, different visualizations. We'll click on a few here just to give you an idea. Now, this website also provides information on kind of a general background um, as the other websites have in the About SDGs uh, page. That ends this brief training on approaches to SDG reporting. If you're interested in learning more, please visit the initiative's website at sdgreporting.org, where you'll find dozens of additional resources. You can also contact us with feedback on this training, suggested resources to add to the website, or partnership opportunities at sdgreporting.org forward slash contact. We look forward to hearing from you.